Trucking chick, lock out me in here. What's up? Oh, having a rough day. I see. Yep. Um. So, what exactly happened, and what's her name? Her name is Rachel. She goes by Lady Driver. Lady Driver, D R I V A H. Mm. All I know is they found her in her truck. I don't know when. It's been like in the last day or so. That's all anybody knows. Is she was found in her truck. So she was so where 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 was she when they found her? She was in Jacksonville. I don't know where exactly she was. The I she lives in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. Um so I'm not really sure we haven't really talked about a lot of personal stuff recently. Um, we were making plans to meet up this winter because I run down there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we messaged back and forth on Snapchat and stuff. But, yeah, I know she was having a rough time. She had somebody that was harassing her. But I didn't think it was. <laughs> Lady Driver's got a history, and she has been very open about it. She has been to prison. She's a, she used to do drugs. And she has never hid that from anybody. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know if she died from medical conditions or if she took her own life. Again, Judging by what I've heard, again, I think she took her Again, as, as, as I'm, you know, getting more and more, you know, you know, you know, meeting more and more people off this off this TikTok app. I never I never knew of her. You know what I'm saying? Never heard of her, never mm -hmm. known nothing about her. But I went back to look at her TikToks and she you know, she got a pretty good following and you know, she got she got an abundance of videos. Uh I believe the she last afraid. Yeah, she wasn't afraid to tell you what she thought. Yeah, the last TikTok that she made looked like it was directed to somebody as as somebody's yeah, man was messing with her and all like that. And yeah. But um yeah, all we know. How how did you first meet her? Like, you know, you, you said that, you know, TikTok. in the begin in, in the beginning y'all was y'all was going back and forth for yourselves, but how how did y'all how did y'all two come together? We just I don't know, we you know, we didn't always agree on everything. But so she's pretty cool. You just you gotta get to know the person she was. Wow. She had a big personality and she was you know, she wasn't afraid to tell people what she thought. So how was how was she called a lot of help from a lot of people? How how was the back and forth between y'all two though? I mean, because you said y'all was oh, butt heads was, for a minute. We had a, we had a disagreement over something she said, and it was, you know, I, we talked it out, and we were good. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> who sent you? Who sent you the video? My best friend. Uh, she saw it on TikTok this morning. Allison sent it to me, and uh, yeah, nothing like standing in the middle of freaking, you know, a business, and you find out, you know, that you know one of your friends is not here anymore. Is is the video <laughs> is is the video still on TikTok? Who who's the? Oh, yeah. I don't see anything about her, you know, passing. Okay, well, shout out to uh, Lady Driver. May she rest in peace. Uh, it, it's just that unfortunate. We 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 don't have that. You you don't have no type of details as far as no. what happened. No. Okay. So uh, you know it's, it's she... cool because in this industry, things like this happen A lot. all the time. Sure do. And I've been there. I have, I, I admit it. I straight up, 
I have been to the point that I've almost taken my life out here, and I, I'm not a. I talk about it now. For the long time, I wouldn't talk about it, and it gets so lonely, and things get so crazy, and you know, dealing with things at home, and you know, stuff like that. And this has been a while ago. Nothing, you know. It's I, I I've had to pull myself out of that hole, and. Um, I, I'm thankful now I have an amazing support system for me. Mm-hmm. I have, I can pick up the phone at any given time and call one of a, probably honestly about 50 people that would straighten me out and put me back where I need to be. And I'm grateful for that. There's so many people out here that don't have this and it's heartbreaking. I mean, I've, I couldn't tell you how many times I've pulled into the truck stop in 22 years. There, there's been so many times I've pulled into truck stops and they're pulling drivers' bodies out that have killed themselves because they think that there's no options. And there's always, always an option. Taking your life is being selfish, and you, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's being selfish to those you leave behind, and it sucks. Do you? Think- and it took me a long time to learn. Do you do you think in the trucking industry that the 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 suicide rate is higher in this industry than anything else? I think so, and it's it's a subject that nobody talks about. I, there's a lot of guys and women, not just the men, don't want to talk about it. Guys are set to not share their feelings, to not talk about things, to keep everything to themselves because it shows weakness. And that's not true. And the, the men need to understand this. And there's always somebody. And, you know, there's always a way out. It is not. There is nothing in this world that is so bad to warrant taking your life. And I can't say that's what she did. I don't know. She, you know, she had a history. She, um, and, and she talked about it more than once on her videos on her lives um but she um i don't know you know she could have had a medical condition i mean i know people in their 30s have had heart attacks and died in their truck how how you know how how did they how did they find uh how did they find out somebody somebody did a wellness check on her or 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 what i don't i really know nothing except he was found in their truck in Jacksonville. That's all I know. I worry she had a dog. Um, what happened to her dog? You know, I know for a while she was dating somebody. I haven't. We never. We hadn't talked about that recently. Um, she had a lot of friends that were a lot closer to her than I was. You know, we'd chat back and forth here and there. We'd snap back and forth. You know, but um, she had a lot of people that were a lot closer to her than I was. So, all right. Well, rest in peace, uh, lady driver. Your your time behind the wheel is at the end right now. So, rest well, trucking chick. Thank you very much for uh, letting us know. Uh, shout out to you. You know, a lot of a lot of drivers just don't have a voice and i'm i'm beginning to i'm beginning to understand why tiktok is beginning to be a you know be a be the platform for for drivers now because it it gives them an outlet that, it does that's why that you know they don't have. i do not because of that cuz you know when you're in the truck and i'm by myself like, there's you know there's people that run team and stuff and they have their spouse or whatever, you know, I'm by myself in my truck and my, my friends group is extremely small. The people I talk to on a regular basis, I can actually count on one hand. And, um, TikTok has given me an out where I can talk to people, meet people because I'm, I'm, I'm outgoing once I get to know people, but meeting somebody face to face, is you know i'm very quiet reserved and i don't talk a lot Mm -hmm. but once i get to know somebody you know yeah i'll talk all day long but it it gives us you know you know an out and you know we can go in there and have fun and be goofy and be stupid and 
you know, there's a lot of drama going on on TikTok right now in the trucking world. Um, and I've been seeing the videos and, you know, it's disgusting. Yeah, it is kind of crazy. My my only reserve for TikTok is now is that it's a lot of it's a lot of drivers out there just giving bad mis I mean bad mis misinformation about trucking. You know, is that's that's my only thing, and I I think that's the thing that I will that I will point out. You know, you, you got a lot of impressionable people of what you saying or what you doing about trucking is 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 factual and is not. So no. you know, there is there's been a uh and I use air quotes with this, a beef between um a group of drivers on TikTok and they're having fun. Mm -hmm. And there's so many people mm -hmm. who are so serious about it. And I just sit back and I'm just like, wow. I see out of trucker TikTok. I don't do a lot of truck videos. I mean, anybody who looks at my page, you know, mine are usually either my dog, me being stupid, or my best friend, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but, you know, I TikTok and, you know, stuff like that. I just, I've never, I, I couldn't do that. You know, I, I don't want to be distracted. I have other things to worry about. Maybe my truck is number one. Well, that's what's I want to go home and <laughs> Well, again, rest in peace to uh, Lady Driver. Uh, truck and Chick, you stay safe out there. And uh, we'll, we'll get back together again. Yep, I'm just chilling at home two days off, and I'm leaving Saturday. Well, that's so. what's up. You stay safe then. All right, we'll catch you later. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, bye. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids, a went pop. Def to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, bars, you got bops. Heard you writing Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rump, bump, bump. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.